Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're checking out a $700 HP Victus laptop. This is a whole new lineup from HP and we absolutely love them so far. Let's see if this stays the same. And it is customizable on their website. We'll talk more about that here in a second, but before we dive into this laptop, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Looking for an awesome holiday gift for the gamer in your life? Well, today's video sponsor, Ewen, has you covered with their lineup of gaming chairs. And if you use code TOASTY on checkout, you can save 30%. Today, we are showcasing the Champion Series that features premium PU leather, including a head and lumbar pillow, a super comfortable and wear-resistant cold cure foam seat that will hold up to long gaming and work sessions, along with built-in height and angle adjustments, along with a sturdy aluminum base that makes Ewen you win America's number one heavy duty chair brand. Everybody here at Toasty Bros HQ are very impressed with the build quality and comfort of this chair. And you can pick it up in a wide range of colors and really it's much more affordable than you might think. And be sure to use the link in the description down below and use code Toasty on checkout to save 30%. So the base model of this laptop right now during Black Friday, which this video is gonna be out after Black Friday, so don't worry about that too much, is about $619. You do pay 70 bucks for the RAM upgrade, which we did right here to get 16 gigs of RAM, because we highly recommend you do that. But uh, $700, really good, 1650, Ryzen 5 5600H. We have a laptop that we review on the channel that's very similar at the same price, actually a little bit more than that, about $100 more. So is this a good buy? Well, we're gonna open it up and see. I think it's time that we whip out the new unboxing tool. Kelsey, you need to make like a sick edit of this. Dude, he needs to do like the shing. This is not how you use Dude, a katana, by the, the way. This is the Like, I, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Fruit Ninja? Like, like yeah, you should <laughs> <laughs> slice right. away. I'm using, I'm using a slightly less manly tool because this one actually is sharp and we can actually unbox stuff with it. But hey, the katana had a good run though. Um, you know, that was actually a previous video. So watch that, I'm yeah. the top recorder. I'm the top recorder now. Matt just added more work for himself. So HP Victus, we reviewed one of these before. They just came out with them. They're, they're kind of a weird middle ground because you gotta remember the HP Pavilion has never been advertised as a gaming lineup. Uh, we believe that essentially you have your HP Pavilion, which is like work and school. Then you had the HP Omen. So you go from work and school straight to gaming, but they had these pavilions that had high-end hardware in them. And so I think they finally said, you know what? Let's stop doing like high-end pavilions. Let's just come out with a mid-range gaming lineup. And that seems to be what Victus has been doing because this one here, like Matt said, just has like a 1650 in it, but you can get them with like 3050 Ti's, um, which we've seen quite a few of. So in the box, we have an HP power brick that is a 150 watt, which is definitely a pretty high wattage. Normally you're gonna see like 65 to 90 watts on non-gaming laptops. We just have this nice little sheath here. We got some important HP information. Goodbye. Goodbye. And voila, we are in. Victus. And yeah, Victus, they have this nice, um, kind of like mirror-like logo. It doesn't glow or anything. Maybe some of the higher end ones have that feature. I'm not really sure. But on the outside of the laptop, we have two USB 3s on the right hand side. Go around to the back. We just have some really nice ventilation. All throughout here, we have a lot of grill area. And then this is going to be our intake is going to be right here. And it looks like we might actually have a little bit more intake here. Could also be speakers, yeah. not sure, but we know for a fact these are fans. So keep in mind, this is like many other laptops. You really don't want to uh, sit them on like a, a pillow or like on a blanket because they will kind of suffocate it. But the last time we had a Victus laptop, it ran really cool. So I get the vibe this one's gonna be like that. And you know what I didn't even talk about? I didn't talk about the left side. Yeah. On the left side, we have a full size SD card reader, which is great for all of you content creators out there. We have a combo microphone jack. So this is always really nice to see. A USB-C jack that is, you know, the USB 3.1 and it's a charging port. We have an actual USB 3.1 port that is also a charging port. We have HDMI out so that you can display to a second monitor and we have an ethernet port and the power plug. So this is a pretty typical, you know, gaming slash workstation laptop. Definitely very mid range. We have a very nice 15.6 inch screen. And do you know the refresh rate of the top? It is just 60 hertz. Just 60 hertz. It's 70 more than bucks, likely. you can upgrade it to 144 if you Ooh, want 70 to. 70 bucks, that's not bad. Although with the 1650, um, this is a great C uh, CPU and uh, graphics card, by the way, but you really don't need to get 120 or 144 hertz because at the end of the day, if you're playing AAA titles, it's gonna be pretty rare that you actually see that. So we recommend going with the 60 with the kind of lower in specs, but hey, if you upgrade that graphics card, definitely get that 144 because there's no problem with doing that on a laptop like this. Looks like it has a charge. It looks like it does. I had to press it twice, but oh, look at that. Light. We have a backlit keyboard that looks really nice. You can hear those fans going. And uh, this is one thing to note too. 
We've actually seen a couple of gaming laptops that don't have webcams, um, like microphones. This does have a webcam. We have the microphones built in for uh, surround sound, and we have a whole speaker grill right here. So, and it does have the Bang & Ursifin Audio. We like this, this is Windows 11, bro. Yes, oh, we did, we actually, uh, no, I'm thinking of a whole different laptop. We paid extra for Windows 11. This one probably just came with it, if we're being honest, because, well, they're really starting to push Windows 11 now. So I think we're just gonna go through this startup screen. Um, we're gonna download some games on it in our typical fashion, and then we're gonna basically do some benchmarking, see how this laptop runs. We already know it's gonna be really good because we've done similar specs, but at the price point, you know, does this make sense? Let's find out. All right, guys, we have good old Halo Infinite running on low settings. Uh, we'll see what kind of performance we can get. Yeah, I like this like very extra hey, that's intro me. scene. That's me, level one. All right, so we're looking at like 70 FPS. We'll see what the actual FPS numbers are as we run around. But yeah, this is Halo Infinite. Is this a shotgun? I think it is. Uh, ooh, we're gonna make a grab stuff. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this got blasted. This is the beta version of Halo Infinite, so if you're watching this in the future, performance may vary, but it looks like that 1650 is getting pushed to basically 100% on low settings. It is playable, but it is definitely not a super high refresh rate gaming experience, but you know what? You got a 60 hertz screen, so you're good to go. Don't die. Oh, you killed him with a grenade. Bro, it's all it takes. Yeah, it looks like we're using about seven and a half uh, gigs of RAM. So that 16 gigs of RAM definitely is gonna help. If you only get the eight gig version, you're probably gonna have some <coughs> FPS issues. I hate have some stutters. So Maybe definitely get that 16 probably. gigs. Yeah, it's a single channel most likely. But uh, yeah, there's Halo. It runs well in the 1650. Um, it is maxed out, but you are gonna run low settings. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see the new Halo will run on this laptop. Let's try something else. All right, guys, we now have good old Fortnite. We are running on performance mode on a mixture of like medium low settings right now. Um, so we will see the best case scenario of this Ryzen 5 5600H. We're gonna dive into a solo match and uh, try to get some kills. So let's see what happens. We're going to drop to Holly Hedges. Here we go, Woohoo! The frame rate is all over the place. If you are gonna get the standard 60 Hertz display like we have here, um, you certainly don't need to be well over 100 plus FPS. It does help with some response time, but I mean, you could lock it like at 120, give or take, and get a solid experience instead of having this fluctuation between like 130 to like 300 randomly. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, but the performance is really good and that Ryzen 5 is very powerful. And yeah, now we're getting like 200 FPS, pretty crazy, can't complain. It is Fortnite on performance mode. If you want the game to look a little better, you can just run on like normal settings. But I like to do performance mode because if you're playing a competitive game, might as well get the most frames you possibly can. But Fortnite does look pretty good when you max it out. So that's something to keep in mind too. Ugh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, the FPS is staying pretty solid, able to get some kills. I think there's more people out here. I would imagine in like in-game towards the end, you probably see FPS around like a hundred, give or take, where it's a little bit more demanding, but still getting almost 300 FPS when you're on pro settings, you are mainly relying on the CPU, but you're still getting some good performance. Um, and yeah, this would be a perfect Fortnite laptop at around 700 bucks right now. Um, Fortnite on the go, I think a lot of people would be interested in that. If I could find somebody else to fight, I'd actually, well, maybe die and then we could switch to another game, but so far, Nothing else, just one kill. I hear a lot going on over here, so. Oh, I, a dude named Phil just got blop blopped in the back. It's pretty easy. I don't really know what else to say about it. It looks like Fortnite. But he's still gonna keep playing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. I killed the guy, I'm done. I'm over it. Three days till the new season, woohoo. All right, see you guys later. All right, guys, we are in Call of Duty Vanguard. We are running on low settings right now to get the best possible FPS. As you can see right there, look at that. There is room to add like better quality and stuff if you really wanted to, but you know. Like or, where? Like where, never. I'm saying you got, <laughs> you got VRAM settings, you know, you're, you're good. No. Dude, the sensitivity is so high. Oh my God. But uh, yeah, that FPS number looks pretty good, so you definitely could go to medium settings if you want to. That guy just screaming his mic. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best map to get your first opinion of this game. <laughs> it, it just feels like the other Call of Duty. It's, it's like the exact games. same, yeah. Okay. So you, you know, you die a thousand times in a row. Dude, <laughs> I cannot get a kill. Oh! 
Alright. I got that, just That's a kill. Uh, that's a kill. Alright, game's gonna be over. We're, we're gonna win this. Oh. No, I can't. No. Oh. oh we, won. we won. I thought I got the Woo! last kill. One of the heads, Call of Duty Vanguard. <laughs> um, the character model isn't there. Oh, there's supposed to be someone there. <laughs> Bro. What happened? Well, there we go. Uh, clearly, you were the team MVP. McAllister, put Jackson right there. Yeah, put me, bro. Like, like actually me. Okay. All right. Very aggressive. All right. Wait. Twins? Twins, twins, in, the, twins in the yard? But now we finished the benchmarking. Let's wrap this video up real quick. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just got done benchmarking this wonderful laptop, and as you can tell, overall, even in eSports and AAA titles, this thing performs really well. Of course, we do recommend doing that 16 gig RAM upgrade, because for one, it gives you dual channel, and for two, it gives you the high capacity that you need for most modern games, because even games like Fortnite, want 8 gigs to work with and of course if you can't get one with 16 you can always buy the 8 gig version and do it yourself it's not too hard so overall this is a great laptop for the money throughout all the different configurations and if you want to pick this thing up link in the description down below will be an affiliate link and it will help us out and at the time of recording this video it is readily available but hp is doing a very good job at keeping their laptops in stock so we'll try to leave some other options down below that we do recommend so as always hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and don't forget to like like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. We actually have quite a few laptops right now in stock over at PCBros.Tech, our PC selling business. You can pick up gaming laptops that we feature here in videos, or you can also get gaming PCs from us. Whatever you want, we got you covered over at PCBros.Tech. Uh, yeah, link down below. See you guys later. Peace Goodbye.